Hey gang, it's Kira, and this is not Doby Joe. This is Samantha, the black cat, that's probably all you can maybe see is her tail. There's her face right there. Samantha is um, one of my cats that has what I refer to as outdoor privileges, meaning that she can go in and out during the daylight hours, but she has a curfew. Um, my other cats that I have don't obey me when they're outside, so they've never earned the right to stay out there. Um, so she's the one that has outdoor privileges and she likes to interrupt me when I'm videotaping these lessons and uh, make loud meows and shake the tripod stand and stuff like that. So this is the cat you have to blame for all that craziness. Uh, and there's uh, little Jackson, Jackson Pollock sticking his head up there right now. All right, hey, we're going to work on page 48 today, the Frosted Pecan Log. Um, this is a song that Dobie Joe wrote. Not really, but you know how I like to live in a fantasy world. Frosted Pecan Log. Let's take a look at what's going on here. I've got lots of fours and twos in this tablature, and zeros, of course. But I also have a section in which I've got a lot of ones. I think what I'm going to try to do on this gang is on this tablature, I'm going to start out playing in second position. Okay, I'm going to use my third finger on my fourth fret. And the very first time I see a one, which is in that second line, third measure, I'm going to jump out of second position and jump into first position. And I might stay there. Okay, let's see what happens. So we're going to start in second position, third finger on that four. You ready to play this tablature together? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Rest. Rest. pretty well. I started in second position and then I jumped into first and I just stayed there. Let's play it one more time and this time I'm going to stay in first position the whole time. I'm going to start out with my pinky on the fourth fret this time and just stay there in first position. Let's use the metronome too so we can make sure we play it nice and slow. Not that slow. Okay, I've got it on 55. Here we go. Pinky on the fourth fret this time, and we're going to stay in first position the whole time. Let's see how that feels. One, two, three, four. Did you notice that time I didn't use the word rest and I didn't count? 
Since I had the metronome going, I thought I would let you listen to the clicks going by for those rests to get the hang of keeping track of those on your own, so I hope you did okay on that. If you didn't, go ahead and rewind it, try it again. Sometimes when you're playing these songs with me, it, it wouldn't hurt to rewind the video, take the video back, and just literally watch the music. Don't try to play it, just watch it and imagine yourself playing it as these videos are being played in front of you, okay? You know, just sit there and kind of go, there's my A, there's my E, or there's my fourth fret, and then my second fret, and just kind of visualize yourself going through the motions a few times while you listen to it, and just visually kind of move your fingers and imagine yourself doing it. That's a pretty good way to practice sometimes, okay? You also have to remember that these videos just kind of charge along. Sometimes you need to stop them and just take a few deep breaths and make sure you're keeping yourself relaxed, all right? Um, yeah, that whole don't forget to breathe thing, don't be holding your breath and don't be tensing up when you don't need to tense up, okay? Try to keep yourself relaxed. Um, let's go ahead and play the chords and sing the words at the same time um, down there toward the second half of the page. Now once again, just like on all the other songs, anytime you have tablature and chords in this book and then below you have words and chords, you can read the chords off of either version. They're all the same, okay? So let's start with 300 million receptors in my snout. I don't know where she comes up with these things. Um, let's do our boom diddy boom diddy again. So we'll go boom did. Go ahead and mute your strings with me. Here we go. Boom diddy boom diddy. Get that boom diddy boom diddy machine warmed up. Okay. All right. I'm going to count us off. And I'm going to sing this. I might not sing it note for note exactly like the tablature is written up above, but it will work just exactly the same anyway. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, three. about like this. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy. All right, this might be way too fast for some of you. Some of you are like, it's about time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Three hundred million receptors in my snout. Analyze the world as I run about. There are search and Listen, have some fun with this song, rewind the video, do it over and over again, go back, take a look and see, am I having trouble with my E and my B7? Remember, when you go from an E to a B7, that middle finger does not need to fly up in the air and get replanted. Between E and B7, that middle finger gets to stay exactly where it is, all right? So anytime you have trouble changing from one chord to another, Go back to the previous pages and take a look at the exercises I've given you in the past and work over those exercises again. Okay, and once again, let me know if you have any questions about anything. I'm always here for you on social media. You can find me, email me, 
message me, whatever, but let's talk this through if you got questions, okay? Thanks so much for hanging out with me again, and I'll see you next time. The next lesson, we're going to learn our G chord, all right? That's a great chord to learn and one you're going to use a lot, okay? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.